Google Sites Tips and Tricks for Beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I have some tips and tricks for you guys that you need to know if you're creating a website with Google Sites. And as a complete beginner, if you're struggling with Google Sites, then this video is going to be really helpful for you. So let's get into it. First of all, uh, you need to go to sites.google.com and you'll get right here, of course. So we can sign into Google Sites for free. It's a free platform that we can uh, create a website on we can create a landing page and much more so let's actually get into some of the tips and tricks that i have for you first of all you need to keep in mind that we have a template gallery available on google sites a lot of people don't know about this and whenever they go to google sites they just simply go with the blank here or they feel like okay it just has like four templates available for event portfolio help center or project but if you click on the template gallery at the top here it opens up a drop down for you and you have to scroll down a little bit to find more templates this is actually pretty impressive and you can see we have work templates where you'll get the event help center project and team and then we have small business template these are the templates that are actually really important ones you can create a business website with google sites with a template such as if you have a business which is dog walker christmas party photo portfolio even a restaurant or a salon website can be created with a template then scroll down for educational where we have student portfolio club and class so these templates are actually really good really impressive all you need to do is just select a website from here let's say i wanted to create a restaurant website click on the restaurant one and it takes you to your website builder where you have this template ready for you and you just need to customize it you don't need to start from the scratch everything is laid out for you and you can customize completely you can see here we have our menu section we have different pages created reviews banner images so this is where you will customize a website but you need to keep in mind that yes there are different templates available on google sites after that once you are inside your website builder there are different things that you need to keep in mind so click on the settings at the top once you click on these settings it will show you a lot of different options and a lot of people don't know about these for instance we have navigation and then we have the modes available which is top and site so once you click on side the navigation is moved to the side of the website this is an important part and then we have the color so we can actually change the navigation color to white black or transparent so if you want to go with a transparent navigation then you can go with that one or if you want to go for uh, you know black or white then you can choose from here then we have our brand images so we can upload a logo and Fevican from here. A lot of people actually ask this question, how to upload a logo or a Fev icon on Google Sites? Well, you simply go to the settings and then select brand images. Upload and select a logo image. This is where we upload the logo or we can even select. Click on the upload and it will allow you to upload an image from your computer, any logo that you have created. And similarly, we can select a Fevican here. Fevican is something that is shown right here in the you know, search bar when we search for a website. You can see with each website, we have a Fevican. So this is how you will upload a logo and Fevican. Then we have the custom domain option. Now with Google Sites, because when we create a website, a domain is given to us. But if you feel like you need to actually create your own custom domain or you need to connect your custom domain, then you can go to the custom domain option here and it will allow you to simply get a domain. Then we have the analytics. Now we can connect our Google Analytics to our Google Sites. Now, all you need to do is just click on enable uh, analytics and you will have to just enter the measurement ID. If you have Google Analytics, just simply go to that account, get the ID, copy and paste it right here. Click on enable in one step. You can connect your site to Google Analytics account to get the insights and metrics on usage. So these are some of the tips that you need to keep in mind within the settings of your Google Sites. Now, let me show you some of the customization tips and tricks. When you are editing a website on Google Sites and we edit a footer, let me click on the edit footer option. You can see we can add, you know, a website, we can add a small text. 
But what if you want to add the socials into your footer? So for that, you'll go to the social links here and enter the links first. So let me quickly, you know, enter, for instance, Twitter. And then we have Facebook. So I'm just going to go with www.facebook.com. And let's go with www.instagram.com. So these are going to be your social sites link. Then we're going to insert a, a logo. This is actually really important for that small icon to appear. So we can, instead of uploading, you can just go to the select option here and we can select any image from Google images and we can even search uh, with the photo. So I'm going to go with the Google images here and search for Twitter. There you go. So you can search for any image on the internet and get it on your Google site. So I will select this one and it will be added right here in this small icon option. Perfect. Again, click on Facebook and this time I will be finding a Facebook image so that I can add it into my socials like so. You can search for anything and let's go with this one. Click on insert and similarly, I'll select Instagram. And this way you can see we have added the images. Click on insert and it will be added. Now it's added as a separate, uh, you know, section here. What we can do is we can drag it and drop it inside our footer. We can do that. And I'm going to place it here. And now you can see it has been added inside my footer. This is actually a pretty good way to add socials right here. And now I can even add like more information. There you go. And it will give you a perfect footer. There you go. We have the social links in the footer now. This is how we add it. When it comes to insert, you can scroll down and you'll be able to add documents, slides, sheets, forms and charts. And all of these are available from our Google. This is Google Forms, Google Sheets and Google Slides. Now, this is actually a pretty good way to insert any file directly from these platforms. And even our Google Drive is available. So this is actually one of the things that is most impressive about Google Sites because I don't need to now go to a third party tool and create a you know form. I don't need to go for another platform, a paid platform to create a sheets, to create documents, and especially the sign of forms or the contact forms we can just use our google forms for this so what i do is simply click on the forms and it will give you the access to your google forms here and you can create a brand new form or you can create one form here um, uh, you know keep it ready and then insert it to your website here when it comes to the pages which is click on these three dots and click on duplicate page if you feel like you're actually working on a page and you're not sure about it and you feel like uh, that you need a copy for this one, then you can just create a copy. And what happens is if something goes wrong, you have a duplicate page available that you can work on. And then when it comes to these three dots, we also have a sub page option. If you want to create a sub page for a page, you can create from this option here for the menu. At the top here, you'll be able to see all the menu and you can now create more than one pages and even filter the pages from here. If you want to upload a custom theme, simply go to the themes here and we have create theme or import. Click on import and it will allow you to import your theme from any of the other platforms or hosting website that you're going for. Click on create theme and you can even create a theme of your own by adding a logo, banner image, then you can select the color and this is actually really cool. You can go with customized colors from here. Let's say that I want to go for something like this. So this is going to be my color palette and you can see now I will have a website with this theme. This gives you the full freedom on your theme colors. And then we have our uh, fonts here. So for the fonts again, we can select the titles and the headings and then we can select our body text. Let's say I want to go for this one. Now you can see we have these three steps in order to create a theme of our own. Click on create theme and it will be created. This one is untitled. Let's just give it the name of test. Click on enter and now we have our new theme created ourselves. You can see this way you can create as many themes as you want. 
So yeah guys, these are all of the tips and tricks that you need to keep in mind while working on Google Sites. I hope that I was a big help to you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.